Hi everybody, it's Julie, your therapist. Today's video is all about the camouflage. While you're in transition, you need some strategies for what I call the camouflage. You don't have to grind it out. I see a lot of people asking questions. My daughter's wedding, I have an interview. Whatever the case may be, there is a way to camouflage that outgrowth. No matter what your outgrowth looks like, it's just according to what your outgrowth looks like is where you're going to place the camouflage. I have my hair up in a ponytail today because I need to get it wet to show you how to do it. I like to do it on wet hair. When you do it on wet hair, it applies easier. You're able to get it throughout your hair a lot quicker and easier. I'm going to show you that. And it also allows it to wash out quicker. Uh, for a lot of us, that's really important. I'm somebody that likes to use fun colors. I get bored of my silver hair. When you see the young kids with their reds and their greens and their blues, I wear those as well. I just don't wear them as intensely. Not because I can't. I can, but it's more work. I have to put it on my dry hair and let it sit for 30 minutes and rinse it out and be careful when I wash it and all this other stuff. But if I put it on my wet hair, almost like shampoo, it takes really fast. And it doesn't last very long, which is what I love because I don't want it to last very long because I like to change. It's the same thing for our camouflage. We're going to put it on the wet hair so you're not going to mess anything up. Maybe you're afraid it will stain because everybody's hair is different. So it will stain a little longer than other people's. But for most people, it will not stain but maybe a wash or two. I use a lot of different things for the camouflage. I went to the grocery store to see what they had so I could kind of help you out in that way because I know I'm talking to people from all over the world. When you get on YouTube and Facebook, you meet people from Ireland and the UK and Syria. So whatever country you're in, these are here. I found these at Target and Walmart. This one's called Gray Away by Ever Pro Beauty. And this is L'Oreal Magic Root. But basically they will all say just a temporary cover up or it will say wash out. That's critical. They do sell permanent hair color in a really small applicator to do the same thing. That's not what you want. These are wash out applications. Make sure it says it's a wash out application. The next thing that I like to use are these things. They come, this one is called gray free. This is black. This is a blonde color, but you can also make these colors, believe it or not, just by the simple law of hair color. When you were a kid and you used to mix the watercolors or the paints or your markers, red and blue made purple. These are strategies for camouflage. We're not doing your whole head. So for instance, you take my hair out of my ponytail. The way my hair naturally falls, it doesn't matter how I style it. I have a natural path of my hair falls to this way. You might be somebody who has a middle part and bangs. So for your middle part, you would see all this area here. That's where you should put these camouflage. If you're somebody like me, it should be right here because this is the area that needs to be camouflaged. If I was wearing my hair up like I was just a minute ago, then again, you would see the area that needs to be camouflaged is this, this, and this. Remember, I would, I'm supposed to have some kind of an outgrowth from here to there. But that's all I would put the color is from here to there, here to there, here to there. Not your whole head, not back in here. You don't need it. Remember, it's a camouflage. Okay, so these are the things that you're going to camouflage with. Some direct dyes that you'll make your own color. These little guys that you can get up at the grocery store or these little guys. All of them come from the beauty supply. Whatever it takes to make your little camouflage, know that you you can hide it. There's always a way to hide it. You don't have to live with it. All right, I'm gonna wet my hair and then I'm gonna show you how to apply. Okay, I'm all wet. 
it's important uh, when you do these things to have wet hair. The reason why you need wet hair is to keep the color from staining, but not just wet hair. It needs to be clean hair. Whenever you're doing color, if your hair is not clean, and I mean squeaky clean, the stuff is not going to work. So make sure that your hair is squeaky clean. If you're not a daily washer, you need to wash two, three times and no conditioner when we do these things. The conditioner will just get in the way of this color tape. So shampoo, squeaky clean hair, and we're going to put it on wet hair. All right. First one I did is black. I'm going to bury it because uh, I don't want to end up with 40 different colors in my hair. So right here, here we go. Bam. You can see it might... White hair just disappeared right there. And you might be thinking, oh, but Julie, I don't want to put black on my hair. That's the very color I'm trying to get away from. When I rinse this out, this will not be black. This is just going to take that <gasps> white and calm it down and like a camouflage. Let's say your hair is brown. It's not black. I would do black plus red and yellow and just maybe even orange and black. You just need a little bit of warmth to the black, but you need more black than anything for brown. If you're the red heads, you just need to figure out where you are. Are you of light violet red or light orange red? And put in your reds. Uh, here's this red one. I just want to show you how fast it touches up our white hair. Here's a green one. Now, when I take, when I wash this off, it won't be this intense. If you want it this intense, you're gonna put it on dry hair. If you don't want it intense, want it to be more like a pastel or a highlighter, you're gonna put it on wet hair. I'm gonna go and uh, rinse this off because I wanna show you next. Uh, I'm gonna bring this all together. I I like to do fun colors and I use these direct dyes. They're also a great way to camouflage when you're rolling out of your old artificial hair color, but they're also a great way to have fun when you have the silver hair. And if you use purple, the violets and the purples are great to camouflage the yellow hair. And none of these direct dyes have a developer, so you could do them over and over and over again. They don't hurt your hair. It really is like putting conditioner on your hair your hair will feel better after you put these direct dyes on. All right, I'm gonna rinse this off and then I'm gonna show you how to do my, how I do my whole head and what it looks like at the very end. Okay, I washed it off, but it's cool because, you know, I washed my own hair and you can see, oops, I got a little bit of red on there, but it washes off. So a little bit of Dawn dish soap come right off. I, yeah, okay, cool. See that little bit of blue that's left over? Because I didn't do a good enough job washing out that black. But I wanted to show you that it's not that big a deal. This would wash out, A, if I got right in there right now and washed it out. But if it were to stain, it's not gonna stain long, a day or two maybe, or I should say a wash or two. You could be super aggressive if you wanted to and use Dawn dish soap and some baking soda if you really needed to get it out. But just to let you know, it's gonna start out intense and get a little bit lighter and lighter and lighter. But it's a good thing, not a bad thing. And remember, if you need it to wash out right away, wash it out sooner. The longer you leave it on your hair, either dry or wet, the longer it's going to last. And also, after you've put it on, if you leave it on for two, three days, it's gonna have more time to stain. So if you wash it out that same day, again, it'll come out right away. So now I'm gonna do the, I'm doing aquatics, I should say, Pulp Riot Aquatic. It's a green color, I love it. I like to put mine on my wet hair. Two reasons, I think I said earlier, I don't like it to come out really intense. Sometimes I do, but right now I like to change my color a lot, especially when I'm doing my teaching. I wanna be able to show people that I don't have color on my hair. And so I like it to wash out right away. I put it on my wet hair, I put it on the new growth first because your ends are porous. They're gonna suck up the hair a lot better. So I put it on my new growth first, and then I'm gonna rub all over my 
and I'm gonna immediately wash it off. Okay, here we go. So I got it on my brush, and remember I said I'm gonna focus on my new growth. And because the hair is wet, the color just spreads all the way through the hair really quickly. If your hair is dry, just like a sponge, it just absorbs that little teeny bit that it is able to touch. So we're really using water to help spread the color when, I, when you put it on wet hair. All right, I got it all on. This is what it looks like before I wash it out. I didn't sit there and go in between every little section like a hairstylist puts on hair color. Just because remember, it's a what you see is what you get. If you're gonna do this, you're just gonna get it all over as best you can. One of the things I love to do, once I get it on my key points, so I hit these spots first, and then all the way through the ends to make sure it got saturated all my white spots. If you have dominant spots like me, hit those first. And then I go through and just spread it over like shampoo. And because my hair is wet, it's just constantly running through the hair. And then for the ends, put your hair in a ponytail, twist it. And then look what's here, all the ends. Put some more color on, just slap it on there. Get it all over there. Also, when you're doing this, you're pushing the hair color all through your hair. I could let this sit for 20, 30 minutes if I wanted to, just is gonna make it last longer. Uh, I don't like it to last a really long time, so I'm just gonna go and wash it off now, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all styled. All right, here we go. This is what it looks like. Uh, I think I probably left it on maybe a total time of five minutes and washed it out. So if you want to have some fun with the direct dyes, this is something you could do for you redheads. Uh, the reds stain a little bit more like, look at that. That's just for me doing that one little touch up earlier. But some baking soda, Dawn dish soap would take this off right away. These colors come in blue, red, purple, green, black, and you can make your own color as well. So that is my video on how to camouflage and have some fun with these colors. Enjoy your day from the therapist.